Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now some of you have actually asked me this question um, via email or via the comments on my Lenny Lenku 2 build regarding about the radiator placement. Now today I'm just going to cover on that. Now this radiator itself right, um, this cage here you can actually remove and this cage is in fact secured by two thumb screws at the side here which I'm going to remove and over at the other side which is here, I'm going to need a screwdriver to do that. Now, after you have removed the two screws, right, this can be removable. As you can see, the whole radiator is fixed to this uh, cage here. Now, some of you have asked, um, okay, I'm not, not going to pull this uh, radiator because it's actually fixed to my board itself. Now, some of you have asked me that um, for a radiator like 240 and 280, right, can they mount this radiator directly inside here? Answer is, you can, but I wouldn't advise you to do so because as you know that um, once you actually fix this cage back, to the case itself, right? You need to secure it with the screws here, which is protruding out. You can see it's protruding out. I'm not too sure if you can see it. All right. So if you're gonna do that, right, you might scratch your radiator, the side of the radiators. So I wouldn't advise you to actually mount your radiator inside. Be it whether probably I would say two forty, not a problem because it's this much width. Else for 280, right, which is a bit smaller, you still can mount, but you're going to scratch the sides. So it's not advisable to do so. And of course, you can mount the radiator over here, and then your fan, right, you can actually mount inside the uh, cage over here. Not an issue. I'm just going to give you some um, tips, or should I say my own personal preference on how I actually mount the radiator itself. As you can see over here, I have actually mounted the radiator and then the fan. This is actually doing the intake, which is actually drawing air from the outside. And why do I actually do this? It's easier to clean. Why do I say this? Because as you know that when you draw air from the outside, right, all the dust, right, even you have, you have a so-called mesh filter, or should I say the fan filter itself, right, there will be dust accumulating over here. So all I need to do is just to remove off the front uh, bezel and to use a vacuum cleaner to actually um, clean up all the dust. And as for the fans, right, I can just remove them and clean them, not an issue. If you're going to place the fan over here instead of uh, here, so as it draws air, right, the dust itself right, will accumulate even more. There's no room for it for it to actually disperse all the dust compared to actually uh, putting fan over here and to draw air from here because it's not concentrated on one area or should I say um, the dust will not accum accumulate on concentrated areas as some of you have actually uh, experienced whereby you dismantle your radiator right if your fan is actually mount here as intake when you take it out, right, you'll see that dust accumulate and giving you a circular uh, kind of, uh, I should say, shape with all the dust at the side. So it's going to be yucky. So this is actually how I um, do it. The next thing is that um, based on experience, now, as you can see that, hey, how come you don't put the hose on top? Instead, you put it below. Reason being, right, if you do not allow the hose to run it this way, right, if you place it on top, now, there might be air bubbles on top, and this will cause noise on the pump itself, giving some um, funny kind of noises. So if you do this right, you will have a concrete, or should I say, a solid flow of water from the radiator to the pump and back to the radiator again. So having to say this right, there are no air bubbles. Air bubbles will actually just evaporate, or should I say, um, float up to the radiator top. So this will prevent noise. Now, this cage itself, right, I forget to mention that you can actually, okay, let me just see. Okay. This cage itself, right, you can actually shift the location, right, to another location, which is here, let's see. Let me try to 
fit this in. Okay, this is another location. I just need to be careful with the wires. See, it went, it went in, further in, giving you more room to actually draw air in. And but do take note that this um, will go further in. So make sure that you have enough clearance. I'll show you again, this is actually true here. As you can see the mark over here, right? I've actually placed the cage inner. So the mark of the fan is here. Now if I'm going to remove and place it back to the original position. This is further out. See? Earlier on it was here, but right now it has shifted. So if you want to give more clearance, right? Um, it's best to actually leave it this way, flush. Or if you want to actually draw more air, right? You can actually push your radiator towards your motherboard. Now I've actually placed it this way, right? Because I do not want to uh, bring tension to this two holes itself. By pushing it further in, right? This will actually push. And prolong time, right? This hose might be uh, damaging the uh, contact points itself and it get loosened and water might leak. All right, so hope you guys can actually understand um, how this cage works and that's it. Thank you for watching.